we're going to disassemble a Dell Inspiron 17 5000 series. This specific one is model 5770. We're going to install this solid state hard drive to replace the mechanical hard drive that comes with the computer. One of my favorite things about these computers, the way that they're put together, is that even though they don't put a plate, which would be very nice, this whole back is generally the whole plate. Instead of having a little cutaway for each piece that you can upgrade, you take one big back plate off and you'll typically have access to everything in the computer. Now, the big downside is that that means we have to take a lot more screws out. Wow, that screw doesn't want to come out. It's possible that, the, uh, that this thing is designed to retain some of the screws too. This is my first time taking one of these apart, so I don't know for sure. Is that? Nope. Alright, so don't pull on that. It looks like this Dell is actually designed to retain some of the screws. So when you pull the screws up, they won't all come out. I'm not sure why they would do that for some, but not for others. But uh, there you go. This screw is short. Like I said, this is my first time taking one of these apart. So I am not 100% sure how it comes apart. You're learning right along with me. Uh, but clearly that's not coming out the way I think it should. A lot of screws. Some of them a lot smaller than others. Fortunately, the size difference is pretty enormous, so you'll have a hard time putting them back in the wrong place. It looks like the center screws come out. Nope. These corner screws come out too. Huh. I guess we'll solve the mystery of whether there are little retention rings once we get this full back plate removed. All right. That's what. Uh, there's about nine screws over here right now. And I really would like to know if that CD drive can come out. Yeah, these screws aren't coming up. No matter how much I try, I think they've got retention rings. Okay, so once you get the screws out on this one, you may not even need to pry it open. It may just come off. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, the big question is always... Is it a design where a back plate comes up, or is it a design where the top plate comes up? And I have a feeling it's actually the less desirable top plate design. So let's get our pry tool. I was hoping not to have to pry on a brand new laptop, but hey, do what you have to do. Get our pry tool and very gently insert it so as not to gouge anything. I am fairly confident at this point that we are dealing with a top plate design though I am not 100% sure on that. It looks like we may have retention screws under the CD drive. Um, but the CD drive's faceplate wants to come off if I try to pull on it. So, oh, nope, there it goes. Yeah, CD drive, and sure enough, look at that. There are screws here. Two of them, I believe. They're very, very short, flat screws. They're actually so flat that the machinery that put them into the factory appears to have dented the heads. That's fun. All right. And uh, this pretty much confirmed. Oh, wait a minute. It's not a top plate design. It is not. It is a bottom plate design, just with a lot of screws. Oh, there they go. 
and there don't appear to be retention rings on those screws that won't come out they just are stubborn all right we are in now first thing you'll notice there is an NVMe solid state drive port here at least I think it is an NVMe it may not be um, there's a screw here which I assume may be to retain that if you put a long SSD there's an anchor hole with no anchor for a short one okay so to answer a few upgrade questions you may have there's one memory stick there's room for a second there's an NVMe SSD port you could put an SSD and a hard drive and have the best of both worlds if that's what you wanted to do for now though I am only going to replace the hard drive with an SSD over here since that's what I've already got I just lost that screw where did it go where did that go Wow how does how does that even happen okay I took a screw out right here and uh, through some fumbling it it just vanished okay well um, whatever I'll go find it in a little bit I suppose if I take this out it will be easier to locate four screws holding a hard drive caddy down uh, wow the screws on this thing are just stubborn I don't, I don't really know why be very careful with this cable you need to get it off the drive but you don't want to damage it uh, let's see it doesn't have the little spines on the end like you usually see on these so that's kind of interesting anyway where did that screw end up if I can find it at all I think I hear it uh, maybe not well if I have oh I see it it fell between this metal plate and this plastic how did that even okay well I found it and that's what's important now as usual manufacturers love to annoy me so they have four screws holding the drive to a caddy that's held in with four more screws that's uh, not many less screws than was holding the whole bottom onto this computer look at this super duper cheap solid state hard drive super cheap solid state drives as of this video August 2018 is when I'm recording this solid state drives have become so cheap that I frankly am a bit amazed um, this 120 gig solid state you can get them for like I don't know 28 it depends on what you get but roughly about $28 hang on apologies for the break I had a customer come in and I had to help them out all right where did I leave off solid state hard drive we're going to swap these two so we do the boring take of the screws there we go <sighs> sorry I'm just a little excited because I'm filming this at Friday near the end of the business day which means that I don't have to work if I don't want to for a while after this now yeah, you can understand me being a little excited so we'll take this out of the caddy set it aside uh, it looks like this case requires a thin drive you have to get a seven millimeter drive not a 9.5 millimeter drive at least by my estimation yeah it looks like it doesn't have room for a thicker hard drive so just keep that in mind if you're putting a solid state in you're covered but you can't put one of the thicker laptop hard drives in um, just just to show you real quick what I mean in case you're not aware of this for some reason this is a 9.5 millimeter drive this is the 7 millimeter that just came out of here and there's a slight height difference you can see the silver top on the one that's your extra two and a half millimeters it's not a big deal but it's a huge deal when you don't have the extra two and a half millimeters to put it in so 
if you buy a high capacity hard drive and expect to put it into your Dell Inspiron 17 5000 series you will be sorely disappointed because it will not fit when you go to put the back cover on it'll smush it although actually I just noticed something there's blue foam here if you take this blue foam out you actually should be able to fit a nine and a half millimeter hard drive you won't have the foam to pad it out but I don't know that that's really that important anyway so it actually can take a nine and a half if you're willing to rip that foam off my luck with foam has been such that uh, when I try to rip foam off it usually comes off in a really nasty gritty manner and it doesn't tend to work out well for me so yeah um, since I'm putting in a seven millimeter solid state I'm not going to bother taking that foam off though strictly speaking the solid state drive doesn't need the foam because it has no moving mechanical parts I'm not going to complain about a little extra padding to protect my precious data you should always back up your stuff even if it's on a solid state though they fail not as often as hard drives but when they fail they fail completely and suddenly you don't generally get an opportunity to recover any of your information at all they just die and it's all gone always back up your stuff very very important that you do that now we've got our new solid state you could get an enclosure and turn the hard drive that came with it into an external hard drive if that's what you wanted to do one terabyte 5400 rpm they're always 5400 rpm aren't they 5400s don't perform as well as 7200s, so even if you just switch this out for a 7200 at a terabyte, you'd get a significant performance increase. Okay, we're done with that. Now we need to put it back together. <coughs> Pardon me for the cough. And as it is with so many of these things, Installation is the reverse of removal, so you shouldn't have any trouble putting it back together. Take your little backing plate here, snap it back on, be kind of gentle because you want to engage the clips but you don't want to bend anything and break the screen, anything like that, so just be careful. Um, remember that these tiny flat screws go here under the optical drive. They're really hard to keep on the end of your magnetic screwdriver in the right direction. Uh, there we go. They also don't screw down very far or very hard. Um, you should always try to screw these things down snugly but not tightly. You don't want to over tighten screws like this. It can end fairly badly. It actually looks like that yeah, that's one of the little screws. And there's another little screw somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where. I bet it's the CD drive, though, that takes that. And these screws that wouldn't come out earlier, they just sort of dangled. I'll go ahead and tighten them down. Did you hear that clicking sound? That was plastic clips engaging. I like hearing that sound because that means that uh, it's clicking itself back together and I don't have to do it. And if there's work that I can avoid doing, by golly, I'm going to do it. All right. We can actually slide this back in too while I'm thinking about it. And a quick inspection. All of those look like deep screw holes, and this one looks shallow, so I'm going to assume this short screw goes here. It's a fairly safe assumption, ah, and that is exactly where it goes. The remainder are all long, so let's put them back. Ah, this is a brand new computer. 
I just wasn't willing to uh, go get a fancy schmancy expensive computer and use it with a 5400 RPM hard drive. The performance difference of a solid state is absolutely incredible and undeniable. And if you can stomach the lower amount of space, you definitely should get one. That's it. All done. Now, once you're done reassembling, go around it with your fingers and make sure, uh, see? that all the plastic clips actually engaged because usually you'll have some that did not and that's it now our brand new laptop has a brand new solid state hard drive in it and we can go ahead and install a clean installation of Windows 10 and enjoy you know or Linux or whatever operating system you happen to want to use on it but this one's going to get Windows 10 okay Y'all have a good one.